Hi, I'm Lisette, and this is going to be my Animal Crossing channel. So, full disclosure, I've already actually played Animal Crossing for a bit, but I've been wanting to create a penguin island for my partner for a really long time now, and so that's what's going to happen today. Well, not the whole thing. We're going to get started. <laughs> Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. They're so cute. I really love the way the graphics look. Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Well, it's not, but I'm going to say it is. <laughs> Understood, stood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can I have your name and birthday? Birthday? So we're going to put Lisette. Are you okay with Lisette? Of course. And then birthday, June 15. Yep. Lizette, Lizette, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Lizette. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are, you are. So I'll choose a feminine looking character and then very pale right now because it's winter and no one goes out anymore of course and then brown and then for the eyes i'm gonna go for i think yeah these ones then i have hazel eyes but i'm gonna go for brown is it are those ones i want i guess so maybe those ones oop And then I want a more tentative little smile. Okay, and no makeup. Yep, that looks great. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting, exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the same seasons the way you're used to. What I mean is, we have islands in both the northern and southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Lisette, where do you live now? Live now. North America is right. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you locate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far, so far? Of course it does. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough comfort or space, you can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it, they're so cute. 
I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. All right. So I'm already leaning towards either this one or this one just because the airport and the town hall are far from one another, which I like. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. <laughs> Wonderful choice, choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, uh, but before we depart, I have one final question for you. Why does he look so sad? I wanna give him a hug. <laughs> if you could only bring one thing with you to deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Okay. So my gut instinct is to bring a book, which would fall under the something to kill time category, but I really want to be practical. So I'm going to hope that the island has some food. The lamp, I don't know if we're going to have fuel or anything to use that lamp with. So I'm going to go for a sleeping bag. But again, I would rather be bringing a book for the record. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. You made me feel bad and now you're messing with me. Jeez, Timmy. Nook Inc. will cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted package getaway is ready for boarding. Boarding. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customer waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Come on. Let's all board the plane together, together. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Why is this making me nostalgic? It's like once you start playing Animal Crossing, it just, you're just hooked. <laughs> A little Lily. I love Vesta. Oh my goodness. And Fauna. And Goldie. See he little Mary in the corner there. So cute. And all the little celebrations. DIYs. See he. The birthday parties are so much fun too. Cute. A Nook Inc. production. I wonder who are the slaughtered villagers are going to be. Cherries. My first island has apples and cherries for one reason or the other are like the one fruit I didn't like go wild and have an orchard of. I had like this huge orchard for a while. Um. Timmy, we're here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're headed there right now if you would like to move L to follow us. 
looks like I have Deirdre and Goose. And Goose is my starter villager in my other island. And I love Goose. I know he's like, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily like him, but I'm like super attached to him. So it's funny that he's here again. Hi, Tom Nook. Timmy. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Deirdre here? Tee. And how about Goose? Tee. And there's Lisette, of course. <laughs> Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some great... Wait. <laughs> it's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have a certain connection in constructions and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get started with a simple tent, shall we? Look at his little capitalistic ways, already planning, like, <laughs> to build up the island. He's going cross-eyed with excitement. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. All right. Hello, wee ones. Here you go, Lisette. Your very own tent. Once you find a perfect spot, Press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I probably, I should probably set you up with a map too. Once you put your tent once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Let's see. Oh, I can't grab the weeds yet. <laughs> mm. Forget what the layout is. So I'm going to be running around here for a minute. Okay. Oh, Deirdre's not sure where to put her tent, but I think I have to put mine down first. To do the same thing with Goose. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Seems like it's just one giant thing. Don't want to be too close to um, Town Hall, so... I go back over here. I keep running into trees. It's not very different from real life, to be honest with you. We're about somewhere around here. It's like close to town hall, but not too close. Everything's so close to town hall. <laughs> I want to grab things, but I can't. Do do do. What about? I want to put a bridge there probably, so... About here, near the beach. Should I put my tent here? Let me imagine it. Hmm. Is this a good spot? I'm gonna say yes, but I might move it. <laughs> Okay, boom, I set up my tent. Teehee. Okay. So now let's go see Goose, Mr. Goose. 
Hey, Goose. Yo, I'm Goose. You're Lizette, right? Nice to meet you, Brooke. Eh? You already set up your tent, eh? I'm trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Lizette? Mm, let me find you a spot. What? You'd help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Of course, Goose. Wow, we've just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Lizette. Well, Goose, you've done some heavy lifting in the other island. <laughs> okay, then. Can't wait to see the epic spot you pick for me. All right, Goose. We need plenty of room for you to work out. Mm. Let's see. What about... Hmm. I like to have my villagers next to one another. Maybe, maybe somewhere here and then have Deirdre right next to Goose. Or I could have them by the beach as well, both of them. They might like that. Let's try that. Let's see what this would look like. Should I put Goose's tent here? Let's imagine it. We'll have to do a little landscaping, but we can make this work. Shall we go ahead? Yeah, let's do it. Goose has got a place for his tent now. Okay, little Miss Deirdre. Oh, she's pretty. I've never met her in real life. You're, wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Lisette, right? See, told you I had it. I'm Deirdre. I gotta tell ya. I'm excited to do this whole island thing, whatevs. <laughs> you already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but... I'm having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. Tell me about it, Deirdre. We do have a pretty island. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. <laughs> oh my. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know. There's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Let me find you a spot, my dear. <laughs> Whoa, for real? You're going to find a spot? A perfect spot for me? <laughs> you do that for someone you just met? You know, you're all right, Lizette. I try, Deirdre. <laughs> In that case, here you go. It's your show now, whatevs. You go pick the perfect spot for the tent that I gave you. I'm going to go wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? All right, Deirdre, we're going to have you live next to Mr. Goose. Let's see. Lining these things never works out, but... I think you need to go a little bit further back. Um, I feel like now it's too far back. <laughs> um... Be a tiny bit <laughs> I wish there was a way to like align them where you would know. See again, I feel like that's too far back. It won't be aligned perfectly and I'm just gonna have to get over it. <laughs> Why is it even worse? I'm sorry folks. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna why can't I? I hope I'm not putting it too close. Okay. Let's imagine it. That's oh, not aligned. This is where you discover that I'm a bit um, fixated with this. 
Let's try again. This is where it's going, it's fine. <laughs> Even if it doesn't match a line or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't align, but we're not gonna worry about it. Hopefully that's enough room. Okay, we're probably gonna move them, it's fine. <laughs> Deirdre's got a space for her tent now. Looks like everyone has a spot out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. And off we go. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Deirdre, Tommy, and Goose can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Lisa and I will go work on gathering firewood, firewood and perhaps a little snack. Hmm. Tom Nook, I, do, I have a feeling that you may not actually be doing any work. It's just a slight suspicion. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get to it. Lisette, would you come see me for a moment? <laughs> let's see. Ah, uh, Lisette, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. We can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. I would hope so. <laughs> I want to say hi to Deirdre. I'm going to go big on setting up this plaza. No way, I'm going to let you show me up, whatevs. Let's see what Goose has to say. I love camping. I'm pumped to get everything ready, okay? All right, well, let's see. Start picking some, some stuff. I know we won't need the um, weeds right now, but we'll need them eventually. Am I the only one that finds picking the weeds to be slightly soothing? <laughs> I know that a lot of folks hate it, but I don't know. I find it really soothing. I actually realize, you know, the more developed your island becomes, the less quickly like these weeds seem to grow. It could just be me not realizing <laughs> um, the rate that they grow at, but I really... I feel like they grow slower. I think we're gonna need some cherries to make cherry juice. Let's see, and we do need some branches. Are you also terrified that I'm going to get stung by wasps? Because I am. <laughs> uh, Leaves are so pretty. Where I live, we have like the seasons and it gets to be winter, but the leaves don't stay colorful for a while. Like they just all fall off. Like they go from being <laughs> greenish to just not. So it's quite nice to uh, be able to enjoy the changing leaves in the game. I don't even remember how many branches I'm supposed to collect. I should probably check. 
I think it probably should be like around 10, but let's see how many we have. We have nine. How many cherries do we have? We got a lot. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> do, do, do. Hey, yeah. Uh. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success, success foraging for tree branches. Very well. Allow me to lighten your load. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolation, this desolation, <laughs> this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh, yes, you will profit grandly, Tom Nook. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like cherries, they smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they are 100%, without a doubt, genuine cherries. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what is this? You've already connected enough cherries for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get ready and get started on the preparations. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oop, there goes the bonfire. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. <laughs> look at that intense look he has. <laughs> Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch with will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm? Oh no. I don't think you're going to test your skills. <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that means we're going to have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? <laughs> I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Hmm? So, take a little time to think. And when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. So I'm going to name the island Lemon Pie because that's a little joke between my partner and I. Um, lemon Pie. Some of y'all have the most creative names for <laughs> your villages. I don't know how you come up with it because I, I do not have that. <laughs> Lemon pie. Lemon, oop. I wonder if I can fit aisles on there, or aisle. Lemon pie, let's see. I don't know why I'm struggling with this today, but I am. Yep, now we can't. So we'll just leave it as lemon pie. Are you okay with lemon pie? Yes. <laughs> all right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> ready, go. Lemon pie, awesome beach, nooktopia, nook kits, Berferberg. <laughs> what a splendid variety. Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. 
Lisette seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Lisette suggested lemon pie. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with lemon pie. It rocks, okay, sounds great, absolutely. Splendid, then from now on, this island will be known as lemon pie. Well, Lisette, since you've proven yourself by naming lemon pie, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of lemon pie. Yeah. Lisette, could you please say a word or two as a new spokesman for your neighbors? Hmm. I'll say you can count on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we settled on a name for our island and we settled on our resident representative. It's been a big day but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Chin chin. <laughs> Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from cherries our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado, a toast to lemon pie and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Tee -hee. so cute oh my god goose goose you're so stinking cute are you playing the tambourine oh my god goose you don't play the tambourine in my island what's happening <laughs> i wish i could do little emotions so cute okay i need to stop being like silly but he's stinking cute i feel like i'm on vacation but we actually get to live here bro okay <laughs> Dear Jar, you're so sweet with your little cherry drink. A party around a campfire on this deserted island? Wow, now this rocks. What ifs? <laughs> Her statement, literally, like, whatever is so cute. Alizette, having a good time, yes? I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I want to take another picture, hold on. Of course, you work hard and you party hard, by all means, carry on. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. Let's see. I'm gonna... Let's see, maybe I'll sit down. And then... Oh, I can't scoot the thing yet. Do, let's do one like this. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I should go to bed so I can get my Nook phone. Ah, Lisa, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few useful items. To open packages and use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can crawl, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me now. Sweet dreams, Lisette. All right, so let's go to our cot. I remember where I put my house. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like it's over here. Okay. <laughs> oh. I didn't even look out, realize what color my airport was. Because I heard like the... Um, the types of, um, like, the colors of certain objects that you get in the game. 
varies depending on um, your airport color. And I don't remember what color it was. Let's see. I wonder, can I do, can I do? Nope, can't do that yet. So let's put our stuff away. Let's see. I'm gonna put the portable radio in this corner. And then in this corner, I'll put the lamp. It's a good thing I didn't bring a lamp. <laughs> and then I'll put the cot in the middle. Oop. Okay. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. Oop. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> KK, so looks like you decided to make your way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the white. <laughs> That's all the way right, Daddy-o. <laughs> you don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world to Squareville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. This guy talks like my dad. <laughs> Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You dig this life. You dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with the best with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. We'll see you later, KK. <laughs> Oh, we got some tunes already. <laughs> Lisette, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you up abruptly. Rude. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. Can you imagine somebody like just going right outside your door and just talking to you when you're definitely asleep and insisting that they're just going to stay there until you wake up? It's not, not, not a good thing, Dominic. <laughs> ah, there's the man. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Wow, I really need that. I'm a good believer of taking care of yourself. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. It's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Oop, there's my Nook phone. It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for a resident island residence. Ah, I wanna make sure it's working right. So could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Welcome. That looks right. <laughs> good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Oh, feel free to put that away now. Say, Lisette, have you ever used a smartphone before? Hmm, have I? No. <laughs> Is that so? How wonderful of you. I dare say, you seemed especially well suited for life on this rustic island. Somewhat of a lie, Domino, but 
<laughs> Nevertheless, I hope you'll find this Nook phone quite handy. So do take time the time to learn how to use it. I have one more thing for you. <laughs> it's your itemized bill. Look how happy he looks to give me a bill. I guess it makes sense though. He did take me in. So this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Hmm? Up oh, Tom Nook's taxing. <laughs> Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, well, wait, you don't have any bells. Yes, I am broke. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, uh, of course. Well, no need to worry. Prepare exactly. <laughs> well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. Always prepared. <laughs> for the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of standard bells. Stop to accrue those though. <laughs> I call this extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage Program. Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Lemon Pie. Now, if that happened in the real world, that would be kind of cool. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them back. You can use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. So the bottom line is you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles for just traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you excuse me, I must get back to a few other manners. But let me heartily congratulate you once again for your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Love and High and a client of Nook Inc. Hooray! My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! <laughs> so cute. For now, for now on, from now on, Ellen time will match the flow of the time we know. All right, so it seems like I did get some nook miles here. Let's go ahead and claim them. Yep, yep, yep. Lemon pie miles. Boom. 500. <laughs> Only 4,500 more to go. <laughs> Let's go say hi to our friends. And then I might stop for the day just because I do need to get some coursework done. Hey, Goose. Hi, Tommy. Oops. Oh, Lisa, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in on with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what to do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Look at Goose with his little flimsy neck. <laughs> Yo, is that? That spot you found me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Brooke. Oh, right. I've got something here for you, Brooke. Thanks again for finding me a place for my place. <laughs> oh, he gave us a hat. That plain cap is perfect for lemon pie. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets, then press A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change it later if you need to work out, bro, okay? I know, working out with a cap might make your head overheat, so. But let's see what this looks like. I'm not really a cap wearer, but, oh my. <laughs> I don't know if that's my style, but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> All right, little, 
Let's check in with little Miss Deirdre. Is she in her tent? Mm -mm. Let's see. Where are you, Deirdre? Oop. Here I go running into trees again. <laughs> um. Where are you? I guess that's slightly creepy to be like, where are you, Deirdre? <laughs> Oh my goodness. She's probably on the beach somewhere. Do do do. Oh, the water sounds so soothing. Oh, here is Little Miss. Oh, she's fishing. So cute. Oh. Let's say hi. Wonder what kind of fish I'm gonna meet today. I hope they're nice. Perfect fishing weather. Time to catch a few fishies, whatevs. Okay, well, she is busy. Guess we got some island togetherness. I like talking to the residents. I get very attached to them. I've yet to move anyone out of my original island. But what can you do? All right, let's... So I'm going to go ahead and save for um, tonight and we'll continue this because I do want to progress further. So <laughs> Goose is always so nosy. He's always like watching you. I don't know if you if you've had Goose. He's very much um, a character that's always looking and trying to scope out what's happening. Anywho. Yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this first video from me. If you have, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, a good evening, whatever time or whatever it is. So, all right. Take care, folks.